finally. It took him a minute to find it. I didn't even know where the order was at, but I found it, so there we go. Next up, $12.75, 7.6 miles at Jersey Mike's. No, sir. I'm not taking that. We're going to let that one just ride on out like that. And let's just see what else they try to send me right here in real time. I'm going to pull over if they send me something before I get to this main road. But that, that was like a dummy order. And look, how is it still telling me one of five orders complete? I just declined one. Now look, there go another one right there. $7.75, seven miles. It's not happening. That's too many miles. Go ahead, screenshot that bad boy. Hit that decline. They ganked me out of two streaks yesterday, y'all. So I'm not even going for that streak. Declining, look. Look at this, a brand new screen. Declining orders decreases your acceptance rate. That's crazy. So now they, now they further enticing you. Declining orders can result in loss of top dash of status. Wow. Ah, they so funny. They are so funny. DoorDash is always trying to manipulate his drivers. Like, don't nobody care about no top dasher. For one, I'm not even top dasher. Now this is a Durberg's order. $12.25, 8.9 miles. Look at this. Look at this, guys. $12.25, 8.9 miles. Go around, go around, go around, go around. Y'all can't drive. $12.25, 8.9 miles. Them people right there can't drive. This is crazy. DoorDash is further manipulating. They can add brand new screens to the app. Hey, declining orders can make you lose top dash. So they don't have no problem telling you that. But they won't tell you that, hey, we just lowered your base pay by 25 cents and two dollars on stacked orders they won't say that but they'll sit up there and say oh if you decline this order your acceptance rate going down look at this we got 650 for four miles and it's just because the map is kind of wrapping around you see that it's kind of like a wrap around from from here to there is not six miles and from here to there does not require me driving all that distance i'm gonna take this one because you got to know your zone sometimes you got to know you know what i'm saying what they actually send you when they send it to you sometimes the map just be messed up that was the situation where the map was just messed up. But man, did y'all see that message though? Declining orders will result in a loss of top dash of status. I need some clarification, cause I'm kind of confused now. Are they saying that if you decline orders throughout the month, you possibly could lose your top dash of status? Because that's what it seemed like they saying to me. If so, that's the case. Because the whole point of having top dasher is so that you can have the freedom to decline the orders throughout the month after getting your ratings up for the end of the month. So it looks like with this new screen, again, DoorDash is further manipulating his drivers into doing something they don't want to do so that DoorDash can be profitable, but they don't care if you're profitable. They want you to drive 7.9 miles away, 8.9 miles away, 9 miles away. You know, orders that's going to make your car have more wear and tear. You're going to make less profits because you're spending an hour picking up and driving this food so far away. DoorDash wants you to do that, and then they want to threaten you with, oh, you're going to lose Top Dasher if you keep declining orders. This is crazy. This is pretty much breaking news at this point, guys, because DoorDash, they, look, they have no problem, you know, adding a new line of code to the algorithm to say, hey, let them dashers that decline, let them know that if they decline too much, they're going to lose their Top Dasher status. They have no problem adding that to the, to the algorithm, to the code, but they can't add no code that's going to be beneficial to the dash or something that's gonna put more money in our pocket they won't do that but they'll do this all day long this is crazy